Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a custom autograph book. Um, I'm taking my two girls to Disney World um, in March, and I'm going to show you from start to finish how I do this online. Um, okay, so I belong to this website called the Dis DISboards.com. I created a username and um, so on and so forth. Okay. So once you belong here, they have a section on here, um, which I'm going to go to. Hang on one second. Okay. Under the discussion forums, um, under creative designs, um, they you scroll down and you click. This is to get the pages, these custom pages, to meet the designers. So you click on that. Hopefully you can see this. Um, this is really pretty easy to do, but I just it would have been awesome if I would have had someone to walk me through the process. Okay, so then you scroll down and it tells you about each person. These people make designs and it's free. They do it to spread the magic. Okay, so I went under um, name Evan Otter Pop, and he says he makes autograph book pages. And I clicked on um, photo hosting site. And it pops up okay then you go over here to the left click on here and then you it comes up with um, all these headings see if you can see it and I clicked on autograph pages and then you go through and it has all the characters and I like these because I'm gonna click on one I am um, you print each one of these pages so instead of blank pages each character has a page which is quite a bit of work but it's kind of fun like we're not leaving for three months it kind of just gives me something to do while we're I'm waiting on the time so anyways okay so let me show you how you save this I um, right clicked on this and then of course that's not working now you know I did this when I saved these I saved these um, on my iPad Okay, well, anyways, you just, you, there's probably a way to do, oh, I know how you do it on the computer. You scroll down here, well, no, actually I don't, I'm not sure, wait, maybe, maybe under options. Yeah, download, you would click download, let's see what happens, I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, here we go, and then it pops, you can't see it, but it popped up down, here it is, down here at the bottom, um, do I want to, save it so you click save and then it saved it so then it'll it'll show up either under downloads in your computer or under like pictures okay so that was the first part of this so then the second part was um, I belong to Shutterfly so let's get out of here and I will show you my Shutterfly account okay so I belong to Shutterfly and you can make books on here and they're really nice. You can pick from soft cover to hard cover, different sizes. But anyways, so you go to a section, you create an account and it's free. And then um, there's a My Pictures section. So I uploaded all of these designs under one, under one account that says Disney um, Autograph. So I've got all these pages that I wanted in to be in my book. I uploaded it into here. I'll show you if there's more. Yeah, here's more. There's a whole bunch of pages. Okay, so that's what I first did. Hopefully you're following along. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, so I saved that. So I have all those. I downloaded those from the dish and then put it into a folder under my pictures in shutterfly.com. Now you click on photo books. Okay. And then I scrolled down to the custom path and clicked on that. And you can see where it says save up to 40% on photo books, which is a really good deal. Sorry, this is taking, oh, I've got to scroll down. Okay, so then I did the 8x8 photo book. Now, I made these for girls, so I'm showing you why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. Okay, so then I unclicked, 
see if you can see it. Our top picks, clicked on kids. Okay. And then it changed, you know, the layout pages. So then I scrolled down and picked, um, you can look through here, but hang on. There's a, a girly one. Let me see if I can find it. Dress up diva. Oh, I just scrolled past it and click on, oh, where did it go? For crying out loud. Okay. Then you click on dress up diva like that. You want to pick that one. So then it says they're on sale, the 8x8 um, book, hardcover photo, um, which you definitely want to make sure you know the size because once you pick this, it's really hard to switch the size. It doesn't want to let you. Um, so you get 20 pages um, for $22.49. So I'm going to hit select this style. It's loading. I'm going to shut this off while it's loading, then I'll come back. Okay, once it loads, it pops this up. So it, it says, choose your pictures for your photo books. And it just so happens, because that's the last folder I uploaded, my Disney autograph um, folder comes up. Okay, so I'm going to click select all. Okay. And then it loads them all onto the right column. And then I'm going to click Add to Photo Book. Then it's going to load this in here, which I'm going to, no, it's going to take a few minutes. I'm going to come back. Well, no, uh, no, I won't. Okay, so it says, take a look. We've arranged your pictures by date taken. How would you like to start? Oh, so they put them, they put them in the book for me which I don't like that because there's a certain way I want to put them in there and I want to make them full page and not like these little pictures. Um, so I'm going to put, place the pictures myself, which is going to take them out of the photo book. Okay, so then over here on the left side, it gives you these choices down through here, layouts, backgrounds, embellishments, and idea pages. So I'm going to click on layouts and um, why did that go away? I don't know why I did that. Um, I want full, I'm going to click full page for these. That way it spreads them out, which of course it's not wanting me to do it for some reason. Um, Oh, you know, I know what I did that worked really well. Hang on, let me see if I can. Of course, it's not on here. I'm going to have to click to get more layouts. And photos on the page are going to be one. And I'll show you the one that worked really well. Um, because you're not going to be putting any titles in with it. And it made the pages lay really well. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I mean, you can do this one. This one works out really nice. It gives it a nice border around it. Or you can pick that one, which makes it full page. I'm trying, why can't I? I can't find the one that I used, of course. It goes through the middle. Of oh, here it is. Okay, I used this one. So I'm going to click on that and say add to my project. Okay. So here's that. So if I click on that, that is going to add that over here. Do you see that that added that? Let's see, if, I don't know if I can do this by hand. And then, oh, I, don't, I need somebody to hold the camera for me. I don't think I can do this with one hand. Maybe I can. Ah, what did I do? I just totally messed it up. Holy crap. That did not go well. Let's see. Oh, if I go back, oh my gosh, it just took me out of the whole thing. Okay, I will come back to you in a minute as soon as I fix this. Okay, I'm back. The, um, the pages are now filled in, but I, I clicked on, I'll show you, this title page, 
and then clicked on each each side so it added that format to that page and then I just dragged the pictures up and dropped them in here so let me I'll flip through here and show you I mean that's all it is and you print it um, but it gives each character here I did a Winnie the Pooh spread and um, here's a Toy Story spread and then I'm gonna. My plan is to come back and insert some pictures, printed out pictures later on down the road. Here's Chef Mickey, and then here we get into the princesses. We just picked ones that we thought we were gonna see. We've been there a couple times. The baby's never been there. And then I le left the last two pages um, blank, so if you know we missed any. Um, okay, so then for the cover. I uploaded this, I went, I forgot to show you when I was in on the DISH website um, that I, they, there's covers you can pick from, which you can have custom covers made, ask, request a designer to make something for you and they'll do it for free, but I didn't want to miss this sale because I got our books at 50% off. So I uploaded the picture into here and then you just click below it and then you, I just wrote Malia's autographs, which was done did it that way and then first trip to Walt Disney World done and because I picked the hardcover you get a write on the spine so here's what I wrote on the spine see if it shows us maybe we'll let us click on it yeah there we go Malia's autographs first trip to Walt Disney World 2013 so then after you do all that you just click order It gives you warnings. Picture has low resolution, um, but I, I think they're still going to turn out okay. I'm going to wait till I get these in the mail and show it to you, you know, what, how it turned out before I upload this video. So hopefully, so I just hit continue to order to ignore those warnings. Um, and it's saving my project. And that's it. That's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, um, leave them below. And hopefully um, you'll see in a little bit, in just a second, um, how this book turned out. When I did Malia's autographs, um, first trip to Disney World, and then I did Jillian's autographs, who's 13. Malia's um, one and a half, and Jillian's 13. And Jill's going on her spring break from junior high, and hers says... Um, Jill's autographs, and then it says um, spring break trip. Okay, hope this was helpful. Okay, here you have it, our finished books, and I love them. Here they are, Jillian's and Malia's, um, and they turned out wonderful. I got the 8x8 um, with the padded hardcover, and they just turned out really well. You can see it. Malia's autographs, first trip to Walt Disney World. On the spine, it says um, Malia's autographs, first trip to Walt Disney World, 2013. And then I um, put in the pages. And then they can get the characters to sign. Here we go. Turned out really nice. You can't really see it all. But the pages look just look so pretty. When I showed it to Jill, she's 13, she was like, it's a book, Mom, I love it. And then I also, in the back, when I left a couple pages blank, so if there's some characters that we didn't get that they could sign back here, and then I got the memorabilia pocket. And it, I don't think you can tell, but it goes from here all the way to here. Um, and it's acid-free, and it's got a pocket, so you can put, like, souvenirs and stuff in there, which I thought would be really neat. Um... So there it is, and um, I left the back, the pink color that came with the, like the diva print with them, because I just thought it'd be neat for it not to all be pictures of Disney. Made it, a, I think it, I think it turned out really well. Here's Jillian's, in the side. Love them, absolutely love them. I think they'll be great for our trip. It'll just make it more fun. And they're sturdy enough. I like that I got the padded and the padded one, and um, they just seem like they'll hold up. 
a little bit better without falling apart. That's why I picked them that way. Okay, just there's an idea for something you guys can try. It was really pretty easy. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave your questions below.